Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a nice one to bring you this week. This truck is here on consignment. This truck belongs to my wife's aunt. She's 79 years old, just about ready to turn 80. She bought this truck brand new, and it's kind of a unique piece. I'm very excited to bring it to you. It's a 1995 Chevy Cheyenne package pickup truck. Extended cab, short bed four-wheel drive this truck is a five-speed manual transmission that's right 79 year old auntie cookie drove a five-speed pickup uh, it's kind of interesting the truck that she just bought brand new to replace this one is the first vehicle she's ever owned in her lifetime that's not been a five-speed or manual shift transmission uh, this uh, aunt I guess you could say of mine uh, isn't the beauty parlor every Sunday type of aunt. Um, Auntie Cookie goes to the shooting range. Lifetime NRA member. So she is uh, she's a, she's a tough old woman. <laughs> uh, I actually feared when I was dating my wife that she'd be the one to kick my ass. And not my father-in-law. Anyway, she bought this truck brand new. She's been the only one to drive it. She's been the only one to really use this truck. It's got just under 105,000 miles. I believe it's 104, 900 and change. Uh, like I said, she bought it brand new and kind of optioned it oddly. It's a Cheyenne package, but it does have all the chrome trim, the chrome front and rear bumpers, alloy wheels, 4x4. It is a 5-speed manual shift transmission. does have uh, the manual shift 4x4. And I have soon real since realized that also an oddity with this truck is it's a 350. Uh, I guess a lot of these are 305s or the six cylinder Cheyenne package, work truck package. Uh, this one is a 350, throttle body 350, which 95 I believe was the last year that that was offered uh, before they went into the Vortec engines. Uh, she just bought a brand new Ford Ranger. She buys a new truck every few years. She has two trucks. The other truck she still currently has is a Toyota Tacoma, all loaded up TRD package, uh, but also a five-speed. She begged Ford to uh, make her new Ranger in a five-speed, but apparently the five-speed transmission is only available overseas, Australia, and places like that. So she bought a new truck, and uh, it's time to sell Auntie Cookie's old truck. And it's a nice truck. It's a very clean, original one owner truck. She always parks it in either her carport or her garage. She has both. And uh, this truck really, she drove it to Maine a lot every year. She has a vacation spot up there she goes to. And then she also just drives it around town. Um, she's very, very rarely towed anything with it. Uh, she changes the motor oil every 3,500 miles religiously. Synthetic Mobile One oil changes. Uh, last year I had a new AC compressor installed within the last few years all new shocks always gets Michelin tires she's that type of lady um, I, I think this truck is a real oddball a real unique piece and I'm hoping I can find the person who really wants this kind of unique one-of-a-kind pickup um, one of the other things that she was really adamant about doing on all her vehicles is having them oil undercoated. Uh, for those of you down south who don't know what that is, uh, it's basically spraying uh, an oil underneath the truck on all the chassis components to preserve it from rust and corrosion. Uh, she did drive this truck all year long. It wasn't a truck that was uh, garaged in the winter time. None of her trucks are, she just drives them. Uh, but she does take very good care of them. Uh, since the truck was new, it always had sheepskin seat covers over it, husky floor liners. Every one of her truck gets a painted matching cap and a bed liner. Um, this truck was no different. Uh, it's got a gazelle topper on it here, painted to match. Actually, the Ford Ranger she just bought, they don't have the, the caps made for them yet. They're still waiting for the mold. Uh, so she hasn't really driven that truck much, just waiting for that. Uh, mold to come to uh, put a cap on it, but there's the uh, outfit that does the undercoating for her. You can open the cap here Carpeted bed liner 
She has the Husky liners for the front, uh, one for the rear as well. You can see under here, the bed is beautiful. And you can see on the jams there, all that goop. That's, uh, that's all the oil treatment to preserve all the metals uh, from rust and corrosion. So every year should have that sprayed underneath the truck. You can kind of see it on the bottom of the tailgate, kind of leaching through there. Uh, so the truck, the truck has been well kept. Um, I won't say that the truck is uh, totally rust free. It does have a few spots I'm gonna point out that it's just starting to poke through on the lower portions. You can see a spot right here, just starting to poke through. Um, and then on the bottom, right over here, you can see it right behind this molding. Um, the bottom of this door has a couple marks, but the jams are clean. You can see here all the jams are nice and clean on this truck. You can see the oil undercoating inside here. Chrome is in nice shape. It's a pretty original truck. Like I said, it was just her. She's about five foot two inches tall, maybe 110 pounds soaking wet. Um, it was really just her and her guns and her dog that drove around in this truck. Nice Michelin tires. You can see all the coating on the chassis components. A little bit of corrosion on the wheels. You can also see on the bottom of this fender here, it has some blisters coming through. Uh, these running boards also have been on the truck since it was new. This side, you can see it's starting to tilt a little bit. And this back one has become loose and is kind of a little crooked. But you can see here, all the jams are pretty clean. All the uh, undercoating treatment here. Uh, the interior of this truck is amazingly well preserved. Again, it was just her. She had seat covers. It's got the base door panels, crank windows. Does have factory air conditioning. But you can see here, it has the, uh, the base cloth upholstery. Aside from this damage uh, on the vinyl here, probably from getting in and out, the cloth material is in phenomenal shape. Original carpet doesn't show even a heel mark or any kind of wear and tear anywhere. Uh, the, the carpet is absolutely beautiful. The steering wheel, same thing. No wear and tear on the steering wheel. Dashboard is all in very nice condition. Original headliner, no sagging or drooping. It's got a sliding rear window as well with a sliding window in the cap, probably never used. We'll go around on the other side here, take a look. You can see here on the hood, it's got a couple little chips, you know, various chips throughout. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to represent this truck as a little old lady truck that is absolutely perfect, but it's a very, very nice survivor uh, that would probably be hard to duplicate today with this trim, with this option package. There's the uh, handshaker right there, five speed manual. Auntie Jan loved five-speed manuals. On the floor shifter for the four-wheel drive. It does have the AC. I do have the original books. We'll flip this seat forward here. You can see it's got the uh, rear seat as well for some rear seat passengers. Um, hardly ever used. this truck uh, like I said earlier from my aunt my wife's aunt um, this truck is located at my shop in Pelham New Hampshire specialty motorcars.net is my website my phone number is 978-930-1004 if you have any questions you can call text me anytime and uh, let me know how I can help you out if you have any questions about this truck uh, this truck has been a one owner vehicle its whole life and it's ready to be in the second owner's hands. Uh, like I said, she bought it brand new. She's been the only one to drive it all that time. I'm gonna wait here for the traffic to die off before we pull out. Definitely subscribe to my page. Uh, I know I mentioned that once as well before, but subscribe to my YouTube page and you'll get all the updates of all uh, new inventory that I put out every time I put a new vehicle out. Like I said, I do a lot with uh, 
GM stuff. I do a lot with, uh, oop, I do a lot with uh, Fords as well, big full-size sedans. Uh, this is not easy taking a video while shifting. This is the first time I've had to do that. But you can see here the truck drives very nicely down the road. Shifts smoothly, the clutch is perfect. Um, Auntie Cookie knew how to drive her five speeds. Anyways, that's it. That's the truck. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, definitely give me a call. Let me know how I can help you. Um, I have transporters waiting to move cars for me. So uh, don't let distance stop you from getting your next vehicle. I can have this truck brought right to your front door. Just let me know how I can help. Specialtymotorcars.net. Thanks for watching, everybody.